One of the cool things about MyNode is that you can run it in a virtual machine. What's a virtual machine? Well, think of it like a computer inside of a computer. And that gives you many advantages. The first of which is to utilize spare or existing system resources that you that would otherwise just be sitting there idle. And the second is to segregate machines. So this is a really, really good way to utilize some of the excess capacity your computer might have just sitting there idle and running a Bitcoin node would be a great way to utilize some of that spare capacity if you have it. The other thing is that you can reduce the need or if you don't have access to a Raspberry Pi or you know a spare um, a disk or any other uh, equipment, then you can run it in your existing uh, build that, or your existing computer that you have. The way that you would do this for MyNode is that you would first download this piece of software called VirtualBox. VirtualBox comes in Windows, Mac, and Linux. So you once you've installed that, you then need to go to the mynodebtc.com website and download. Here you will be able to see uh, the image for the virtual machine and that is version 1.7 and you'll notice that that's quite far behind uh, the, the, the latest version but that's okay because what you can do is upgrade it you'll need to download this file you will notice that it is quite a large file it's 2.8 gigabytes so uh, that may take some time to download through then what you want to do is open this up in VirtualBox and you'll see that I've got virtual machines here so the way that you would um, import this in you can either just double click it um, or file import appliance and then go into where you've downloaded it and put that through so there's the file there click next and here it will give you the outline of the virtual machine that you're about to install so this name for you, it'll be MyNode. The reason that mine's MyNode 1 is because I've already got this running in a virtual machine. And it'll give you, you know, all the system details here. Now, it's going to use four CPUs. It's going to use four gigabytes of RAM. Now, this disk here, think of that like your operating system. And think of this as the storage space. So, it's got two, it, two virtual hard disks. It's up to you where you want to save this. So you can save this in where it recommends or alternatively, you can change that to say, for example, you've got a spare hard drive sitting somewhere and you can put it in through there. Then you just click import. Now, once that's been imported, what you will need to do is sort of just check some of the settings. So if you go into the settings here, one of the things that you want is the network and you want to make that make sure that this is a bridged adapter and aligns with your network adapter okay now what this will do is make sure that this virtual machine is assigned a separate brand new ip address on your local network so just make sure you have that as bridged adapter the other thing that you will need to change is these USB ports. So what I would recommend instead of USB 2 is just change that to USB 1.1. Okay. And then click OK. Now you can start the virtual machine. So we'll just give it a start. Now, the default um, passwords and username is admin for the username and bolt for the password. And then you can log in. Again, you can log in using the password bolt. And it will continue to look for a drive. Just let it sit here for a while. It'll then move on to drive mounted. Whilst that's starting up, I'll just talk you through some of the possible use cases for running your MyNode on a virtual machine. So as I mentioned earlier, just in case you don't have access to a Raspberry Pi 4 
or uh, spare drives, what you can do is use the idle system resources. I wouldn't recommend putting this onto, for example, a laptop because that generally, you know, is a device that loses internet connectivity. So ideally what you want to do is run this on a desktop that is permanently connected to the internet and just sits away in the background. Now the trade-off is here is that your computer will definitely be running more power than a Raspberry Pi setup. So that's always going to be a trade-off. It will then go on to say enter product key but you can choose the community edition. If you do want to pay for um, a product key, you can input that there. And it'll start the syncing process. Pretty easy. Now, the other thing that you can do with your MyNode on a virtual machine is to have this running in the background. So what you can do is I'll just close out of that and I'll power off the machine. And what you can do is start it in headless mode, meaning that it just sits there and runs away in the background. So there's no actual window there for you to use, okay? And you can leave it here um, if you so wish, or you can open it up and show it. And put in the username and password. And get back into it. Now, if you want, you can close that off and continue running in the background. You'll notice also that it has uh, assigned um, an IP address of 192.168.2.71. So what you can also do is if you've got a terminal or in PuTTY, you can SSH into there. So SSH uh, admin at 192.168.2.71. Click yes, and put in the password of vault. And so now you've got the terminal screen of your MyNode as well. One of the other things that you can do with a virtual box is to run this as soon as your computer starts. So once your computer boots up, it will automatically start your MyNode. And that is programmable using the documentation within um, the VirtualBox docs. So have a read through there and you'll be able to figure out how you can start your virtual machine uh, at startup when your system boots up. That's a really handy feature. So I hope you enjoyed uh, that little tour of how to run your MyNode in a virtual box. I'll catch you in the next video.